I'm America Young. And I'm Kevin McShane. And we are here with cartoon historian Jerry Beck. That's me. Now, Jerry, you have a very famous Comic-Con panel that you've been running for 10 years now, yes. the, the world's worst cartoons. Well, worst cartoons ever, yes. And uh, this convention, we're doing the 10th anniversary showing. That's amazing. So my question is, how do you ever run out of terrible cartoons to show? Uh, no. Uh, I have this inexhaustible supply. A lot of people send me stuff now, which is great. So uh, we have some real surprises. We also, I'm able to... Um, keep it going with uh, different episodes of certain characters. You know, Mighty Mr. Titan, the physical fitness superhero. Right, right. You know, I have multiple episodes of that, so I can uh, replenish it. <laughs> you just dole them out one every year yeah. and everything. Does anybody ever submit their own stuff for you to look at? Uh, no, no, I, uh, I have my eye open for that. <clears throat> Most of my show is uh, 1950s and 1960s cartoons. Um, I'm almost a little afraid to do the 70s and 80s and 90s because some of those people are still walking around here and I don't want to offend. You never know who you're going to offend. Well, Although, you know, it's, it's such a legendary panel that I think they would kind of be honored yeah. to be part of it. Well, once I, uh, I, I showed Clutch Cargo, which is the cartoon that hardly moves at all, but it has yeah. live action lips. Mm -hmm. It was a real cheap way to do animation. And the woman who I've become friends with now, her name is Margaret Carey, uh, she was the lips. She was, the, she was married to the producer, and they needed somebody to photograph lips, so she read all the characters. No and kidding. Yeah, so she loves that I run her cartoons. <laughs> it's the only recognition they get, you know. That's great, that's great. One of the worst cartoons that I ever saw, and I'm sure this will be no surprise to you, was Gilligan's Planet. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, Gilligan's <laughs> Planet is definitely down there. One of my favorites from the later period. I'm probably going to start bringing these cartoons, these TV ones from the 70s and 80s, and into the show, but uh, Turbo Teen. That's yes, you know yes. Of that's course, I remember Turbo Teen. Yeah. He turns into a car. He's all right. He gets water splashed on him. He turns into a car. So you've actually you've you've kind of inspired me uh, in a way because I um, I'm a cartoonist and an aspiring animator myself. And for the past uh, over a year now, I have been doing a weekly self portrait of myself in the different style of a different animator every week. Right. And so my goal is to eventually, when I get so many, I'm going to send it to you and see how many that you can recognize okay. off the bat. I like that challenge. <laughs> I will take that challenge. I also want to say while I'm here that Stan Lee has been a big inspiration to me personally. I grew up reading those comics in the 60s, 70s, and uh, you know his Stan Soapbox is one of those things that brought us all together in the first place to start conventions and all that. So thank you, Stan. There you go. We'll be sure he gets the message. Yeah. So for Mask and Cape, I'm Kevin McShane. I'm America Young. And this has been Jerry Beck. Jerry, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.